Hello to my Cobbs Can Clan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been a little while <laughs> since I last put my face in front of a camera. Um, to be honest, I had a bit of a confidence knock uh, in terms of like just being in front of a camera and especially like filming myself ride. So today's the day you get to see me ride again. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, today's video, as you can see from the title probably, um, is going to be a how I sort of get ready for a show video. So it's going to take you through what I've kind of been up to this last week in preparation for our first show in over a year this Sunday. There's going to be a tack haul. I've got the saddle fitter down today. I've got a lesson today as well. So Peps is going to be thrilled. Uh, and yeah, just talk you through what else has been going on in the week running up to the show and what I have planned over the next few days. So yeah, without further ado, let's roll that intro and get into the video. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here with Georgie from Elite Saddle Fit. So obviously in January you came out, so exactly roughly six months ago. And we had the new saddle fitted and we're going to look at it today and see what changes have happened, if any. And um, yeah, just see how the saddle's going with me riding and stuff like that. So. Without further ado, Georgie, would you like to take it away? <laughs> <laughs> she has already mentioned some differences that you've seen, so... Yes, indeed. I mean, the biggest difference that I see in Pippa is that she's actually formed a little bit more of a wither. So, rather than her being this kind of square-shouldered cob, really broad across here, she's actually formed a little bit more shape through her kind of the top of her scapulas and behind in the trapezius area yeah. which indicates to me as well as the development on the top of her neck here yeah and a little bit less development that she's you know she's lost some of the tension through the bottom of her neck which is the brachiocephalicus area yeah she's starting to use her shoulders and her forend to carry herself yeah. better um oh get away <laughs> oh, a bug that went right in front of it yeah, yeah. And then what I'm really noticing here, so this hypotrophy she's got here will take a while to go away. Like we discussed that before, didn't we? That's, yeah. That's unfortunately something that can take, that's usually yeah. the last thing that kind of disappears. Um, but what's interesting for me is she had little hollows where the saddle was, was kind of putting weight in this area and kind of pushing too much and causing some atrophy and some weakness in the muscle. Yeah. And this is slowly really building up, which again, when they can use or the front end of the thoracic sling and all of the chain of muscles all the way through can work better, then this automatically gets stronger. And one thing as well, we'll have to kind of see if we can find some comparison photos. Yeah. But to me, her back looks like it's lifted. She doesn't look quite so dropped yeah. in her back. Yeah. <laughs> We've we got it all today, haven't we? <laughs> Indeed. Um, so, yeah, so I think in general, really, really pro promising improvements. And I've yeah. just popped the saddle on her already. In fact, should I just pop that yeah, on now? we can have a look. And I've said to you that I've noticed exactly what you've said. I felt like she had more shoulder now, or yeah. like, like she actually has a shoulder now. Yeah. And um, ridden-wise, you can actually see in front of you how much more she's using her shoulder. Exactly. Like, it's exactly. incredible. And just the feeling she gives you, because she's really like, you know, like that extended trot yeah, feeling yeah. out hacking where she's like floating for a few seconds. I'm oh. getting that now. So. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. So yeah, when you start building that cadence, that really starts meaning they're kind of getting that spring in their step and they're really starting to use their muscles at all of their back yeah. and all of their body and not just using part of it. Um, but And I can tell that you're riding a little bit more as well since <laughs> I last saw you because the flocking's well and truly settled down. Yeah. Um, but... What thing that's interesting for me is although we're now in summer, technically, you know, most horses would get wider because of as the muscle starts storing the fat within yeah. itself. Um, but actually, I, I think we're going to have to take this narrower. So I'm going to flock it first. Yeah. And then we'll have a look at the balance once I've flocked it. So, yeah, <laughs> You're I not think, standing very yeah. square. <laughs> not, not helping. I'm sorry, honey. You have to stand on all four, honey. She's going to have a shock today because I've got a lesson at one. <laughs> so she's being ridden twice today. <laughs> so, yeah. So I don't know if you can see from that angle, like even without the weight of the rider, it's just that little bit low in front. It's wanting to lift up at the back yeah. here. So I think the flocking will help lift it. But I actually think we need to narrow a little, a little bit more where she's just developed this with her as well. Do you think that might be a confirmation thing, like that it wears down more at the front because she's on All the saddles forehand? always okay. always do that because that's where the stirrups attach, that's oh, okay. where the most amount of pressure for the rider is. Makes sense. Yeah, is actually in that area. So 
it, that's normal. Okay. Um, but what's really good is that she's, and this is the thing, like she's, <clears throat> She's built some muscle up, but she's also developed a wither. So as the wither grows, because the rib cage literally lifts between the scapula, mm -hmm. they actually develop more of a wither, and then they actually get narrower. Yeah. So it's um it's a uh, a lot of people think that horses get wider, and they do if they've got really weak, poor backs and really atrophied. Yeah. So they'll get they'll grow that muscle, or they'll get wider, but then all of a sudden, as the muscle grows, they'll also the next step is then get more of a wither and get narrower. So that's yeah. exactly what she's done, which is fabulous. <laughs> Well, as so, well as I obviously we've I've had the saddle done. I'll flip it round. <clears throat> so obviously I had the saddle changed, but she has also had a lot of physio work in between this. So that has also helped. I've had body work by Alice out, who does like the fascial release, and then um, Helen, who you know, yeah, has come out and worked on her as well. Oh, yeah, big stretch. Oh, <laughs> big so stretch. yeah, obviously I think especially the fascial release has helped along mm -hmm. especially Absolutely. the front end she she said how tight she was up front yeah i think that's worth like mentioning <coughs> with all aspects of horse life it's not it's never just one thing yeah it's always a culmination of things yeah. you know it's what we put in them it's what we put on them but it's also what we do with them yeah you know if we're um changing their routine with their work we're changing the type of body work they're having we're changing saddles hopefully that all progresses for the in the right direction and a new bit and a new bit <laughs> as well wow. so she's been spoiled yeah so bridles the next thing i'm expecting to see a brand new pony out there well <laughs> no no pressure there <laughs> no, it will be fine i'm sure it's fine right let's right. get you tacked up then yeah. <laughs> Okay. You see the difference in the balance in that now? Let's have a look. Oh yeah. It's more yeah. up in the front. Exactly. So for the moment where I've uh, freshly flocked it, yeah. um, it's all puffy because it needs compressing with the weight of the rider. Yeah. Um, so it looks a little bit high in front, but we'd kind of rather have that. <coughs> Perhaps. <laughs> You've got to be ridden in a minute. <laughs> Come on, darling. She's really quite determined to not put the weight on that thing. <laughs> Um, so, but that will all compress and settle by the time the rider's on it, so... Okay. Yeah, let's tack her up and get you on board. <laughs> Well, I'm no cameraman, so please forgive me. It's fine. As long as people get the general idea. It's more your knowledge that they want. I like the way she can stretch. Has that become something she's doing more frequently? Yeah, she's always been good in the walk. She has always been good with stretching down. What about in the other gates? Is it improving there? Yeah. She finds it hard to open up and let herself. Well, also, like, walk is an asymmetric gait, right? They literally have an up, down, forwards, backwards, side to side movement. So there's a lot of rotation in canter. And if they've had any tension through their sort of lumbo sacral or thoraco lumbar junctions, yeah. that will show up for sure in the canter. Yeah, okay. And then in the canter, she was like, 
bucket, but not like massive. Do you know what I mean? Just like this is uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, and one thing we didn't mention about the old saddle, like we said about this has worn down at the front. The old saddle was pushing all my weight to the back. Yes, yeah, it was. So all the pressure was along here. Yeah, I think it'll be really uh, beneficial to get a photo of. I'm sure I've got. I took one before yeah. of the old saddle on her. If not, take another one. I probably have some somewhere. Yeah. You have a good stretch. What do you want to see? Just a bit of trot and canter. Well, let's have a look at the walk on the other rein. Yeah. And then, yeah, then we'll just do literally a few minutes in each. Because it's actually more beneficial for me to see her before she's warmed up so I can see exactly what the saddle does yeah. right from the start of a ride. <laughs> and you've, you've been quite comfy in it, right? You've not had any problems? No. No? I feel very secure in it. You feel very secure and safe. Yeah. And the fact that she's developing in a positive manner means that we've kind of... Moving in the right direction. Exactto mondo. Come on. <laughs> Moving in that right Too direction. Long. I am a terrible cameraman, Rachel. I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to actually look at you and try and keep you in the camera. Yeah. It's all right. Just do your best. I can already feel like as soon as I sat in the saddle that it's higher in front. Higher in front, more supportive. Because, of course, if the saddle is down in the front, it's literally going to push the rider. So the rider's pelvis then tips forward into that hollow. It's not being supported. So there's ends up with more weight down the front of the saddle. Well, one thing I wanted to tell you about, actually, is obviously she was having problems with her back. But so was I. And I think that the right. Yeah. And as soon as I've switched, I haven't had to go and see my physio. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so when you noticed it starting to drop, that's yeah. when you noticed the back pain coming back. So I Rachel, know what my saddle needs doing, yeah, yeah. In, it definitely. My back so again. I'm just going to repeat that because I don't know if the microphone got heard that. But uh, Rachel was just saying in her previous saddle, she was suffering with a lot of backache, and she was having to go see the physio quite regularly. Um, but since she's had this saddle, she hasn't say, had to see the physio at all because her back has been so much better for her. Um, and just recently, what, the last few weeks? Yeah. Yeah, since the saddles needed that top up, she's noticed a little bit of the backache creeping in. Nowhere near as bad as it was before, though? No. No, okay. No, I was like, oh, okay, oh my like, God. Point where I thought I need a different saddle. Yeah. So, but I have two emergency appointments within a week of each other. Oof. And this is the thing, like the saddle is there for the rider as well. Yeah. Well, that was one of the things that was different about this saddle as well, is you changed where the stirrups sat for me. Yeah. As well. Should we have a little trot? Yeah, go for it. Not that she feels very enthusiastic right now. We're going to have to wake up for our lesson. Oh, no. Come on. And what about the slipping to the side? Because you're having a lot of problems with lateral slippage with the other saddle, weren't you? Yeah, not really any. No, good. Because I think last time we discussed about girthing anus symmetrically to try and help that if it occurred. Yeah. But you haven't really felt the need to. No. Good.
You're right, she's definitely more floaty. There's less kicking up of the soil. There's less, she's picking her feet up, all four of her feet up quite nicely. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure the, the footage after your uh, lesson later will be the best as well. Canter transitions cleaner too. tried the saddle she was really struggling to kind of distinguish the difference between the le the canters and the trots yes. she was just getting like she did a little bit just there didn't she of yeah. wanting to canter rather than trot but then she kind of goes oh okay let's just trot oh really okay Wow, that's cool. And that will get better as, as we really get into those, you know, those fascial connections, like you were saying with the body worker. What did you say? Alice was her name, sorry. Yeah. They'll really develop and improve. That will keep improving. Cool. Yeah. This is the best in hands to spell in ages. Oh, really? I really like the front. Yeah, good. And that's because she's freer for her shoulders. She can actually lift the front end up. You're doing really well for somebody who's struggling to breathe. You're a lot fitter in the saddle than I am. Hi, pepperoni. She's enjoying her horse licks. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to my lesson now because she was so lazy in the school. But um, Tuesday, I wanted to hack her out, but the heavens literally opened and I was like, I'm not hacking out in this. It was absolutely tipping it down. So yeah, I ended up taking her in the school and she was so, so good. And when she has a good schooling session like that, I don't want to go in the school again for a while. Like I want to give her a break from it because otherwise she just turns a bit sour. But yeah, I had to go in the school so Georgie could see um, Peps being ridden. And yeah, she, all very positive comments. Her body's changed shape and she's moving better under the saddle. So that's nice to hear. It didn't feel like she was moving very well. I'm not gonna lie, she felt very lazy, but it was really warm, the sun came out. T today's been very strange um, because like this morning when I walked Hazel to nursery, it was really cold, like it felt quite hot. So I was dressed like, well, you know, I've dressed to cope with the heat. Then I get up here and it's cold. Then I get in the school and it's hot. Got out and it's cold again. So yeah, I'm not really, too sure how the lesson's gonna go but 
she can have a nice rest now in between. I picked up my equilibrium massage pad so she can have a massage before the lesson. Hopefully like loosen her up a little bit maybe. I actually have a little bag of goodies down here. Do you want to see what I got from Ingate Stone yesterday? So yeah, I knew I needed a few bits from Ingate Stone. The main thing I kind of went for was a Pelham. Um, I wanted to, I know they sell neutral bits there. So I wanted to get the neutral bit that I've just put her in because she's going really nicely in it, but obviously just get the Pelham version of it. It's the transangled lozenge that she's in and uh, they didn't have her size. Also, they only seem to do the Pelham in a 16 mil, which is too thick for her mouth, really. She's in a 14 mil and five and three quarters, which I can't seem to get five and three quarters anywhere. Why is she so awkward? The bridle fits awkward, the saddle fits awkward, <laughs> the bit fits awkward. Oh, only my pony. Anyway, so the show this weekend, I'm actually wearing pink, which is quite fitting. It is a cancer research show, so it's an, hopefully going to be a nice, chilled out show for our first show back. Nice and friendly and, and easy. Um, I actually got a pink tie. So my plan is, right, for the in-hand classes, I actually have a bright pink, like, suit that I'm going to wear. There's prizes for, like, the best dressed pink person and, like, you can get a free pass into the championship if you, you know, for your outfit. So I have something that we're like special planned for the in hand. But for the ridden, I'm only really doing one proper ridden class, which is the ridden cobs. And I thought I'll just have like a pop of pink, you know? So I've got my pink tie and I have a matching scrunchie to go with it, which is here, they're Equitech ones, which is the same brand that my show jacket is. Some hair nets, gotta have some hair nets, keep the hair nice and tidy. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this very well. I don't want to get it dirty either, but I've got a Shire's show shirt. So, new show shirt for me. I don't want to get that dirty, so I'm going to put it straight back in the bag. Oh no, it's getting dirty. <laughs> no! I also picked up a new Diva brush. I don't even know what happened to mine. Yeah, I don't know where that my old one's gone, but I wanted one that was like just for shows. I will give my Haas brushes a wash, that's on my to-do list. <laughs> but yeah, how fitting, I thought I'd get a pink one as well. And then for the goodest girl, we've got some Silvermore treaties and three swingers as well. I actually prefer to give her the grass picks, but Ingate Stone don't stock them for some reason. So yeah, that is my little haul from Ingate Stone. I am now gonna get on with my jobs and give her some time to chill out. And then I think I've got about an hour 45 until my lesson so yeah plenty of time to get my jobs done and maybe dig out some of my show gear so that's like one of my main tasks today is um dig sh show gear out that i need i'm trying not to leave everything till the day before you know what i mean anyway camera's about to run out <laughs> of uh, space so well memory card's about to run out of space so um i will get back to you in a little while <laughs> Well, I'm not sure how ready e either of us are for this ride, to be honest. She's resting a leg. I think she's desperate to have a sleep. You have a sleep afterwards, baby. Just a little more work. <laughs> Lord help me, guys. Okay, away you go.
get your outside rain. Right, push that drop. Change rain. Forward into the contact. There you go. Push out. Right, keep, don't go too diagonal now. On a shoulder and leg yield out. Does that feel a bit better? Yeah. Good. Don't worry what it looks like because you're practicing. Good, now she's not leaning in on the left. One. Sit, don't let her come in. Yeah. Good. And then across to the right. Little flick behind if she lacks energy. Push out. Inside leg. Gal. Good gal. Big chop, big chop. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Redeem that. Come on then, missus. She says, I'm very tired. I'm very tired. I've been ridden twice today. Well, she was a lot better for our lesson than she was for the saddle fitting this morning. She woke up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. It's given me a good little confidence boost ready ahead of Sunday. And uh, yeah, she feels really good. <laughs> I'm well chuffed. Just yeah give her a break from the school now saturday i've got a next so i'll try and take her for a little hack and i'm just gonna check her in the field now and she can finally have some time to herself she's probably thinking thank god for that <laughs> yeah you want to go out looking longingly into the distance come let's get your tack off good girl well guys that is it for today that's about all i've got time for because i soon have to go and pick hazel up from nursery and someone's very kindly bringing peps in for me so I don't have to make another trip back. But I'm just getting some stuff down here to take home. So one of the classes is actually best hacking horse. And I just thought, cause Pep's like all of our stuff for hacking is pink. I just thought I had to go for it. So I'm taking that all home to have a wash. I'm just gathering stuff to take home to clean. Basically the tack will have to wait until Saturday because my loan has got her tomorrow so if she wants to ride the tack needs to be up here so that will be a Saturday evening job yeah other than that I mean I'm really happy with my lesson I thought honestly considering how she was this morning I thought it was going to be hor like horrific but she really like came into herself there she woke up a bit I said I'm, I want to go out in the outdoor school because she's not been out there for a while so yeah Tuesday's session was really good that was in the indoor school and then obviously she was in the indoor this morning so I thought right take her out into the outdoor there's a bit more to look at might just shush her up a little bit and it seemed to work I think she saw one of her little yard uh, little field friends going out to the uh, to the field and she was like I want to go in the field and that woke her up a bit so my plan worked but yeah um, that's it for today I'll see you all might video tomorrow because I might be going to Battlesbridge to see if they can supply a bit. I'm going to go and ask my yard manager quickly if she might have a Pelham for me. If not, I'll probably head to Battlesbridge because I know they sell bits. But if I don't, then I will next see you on Saturday morning. I will film the rest of my sort of how I get my horse ready for a show because I was hoping to do some trimming up on Pep. She needs her tail doing and she needs some like wispy bits clipping off and stuff. She just got a bit fed up on Sunday, which is fair enough. Like. I did a full clip freestanding in her stable, which is amazing. And yeah, you could just tell she was like, I'm done now. So I thought, okay, I've got the majority of it off. So yeah, I do need to do that. Ideally, I should be doing the tail like a week before as well, or a couple of weeks. Like I should be slowly, um, what's the word, raking it in the weeks up to a show. But um, yeah, I haven't been that prepared this time round. I will lay a fresh bed for her on Saturday because that helps to keep her clean. Basically just cleaning stuff. 
I might take my Haas brushes home actually, my lovely Haas brushes and clean them because I've got some other spare brushes that my loner can use. Just get my Haas brushes nice and clean and ready to go for Sunday to get her all groomed and ready. I am actually excited, this is nice because it's the first time really that I've just been excited for a show and not really nervous about it. But that could probably change, it probably will change on the day. That's it for today. Thank you for coming along with me. Sorry if there wasn't that much footage from the lesson, but uh, yeah, I don't really have anyone to come and film me anymore. So bless Georgina, she's trying to teach me and film at the same time. But hopefully it kind of gave you an idea. The main issue I was having is she just completely locks her shoulder against me, particularly going from the right rein to the left rein because she favors the right rein. So she's just like, I just want to be on the right rein. <laughs> and it just pulls me. So the main issue that we were trying to iron out was getting her lifting up, up like through her left rib cage and pushing from her left hind rather than rather than leaning but um yeah other than that she seemed really good really happy <laughs> no complaints yeah just hope it all goes well on sunday but a show environment's a completely different kettle of fish and we're actually doing four classes so she could be quite tired who knows so yes until then See you Saturday. <laughs> Leave it. I've just put my camera away, so I'm not getting it back out again. Found a Pelham, <laughs> so I'm all good. Found a Pelham. I'm happy now. <laughs> so obviously, I've got my ProSense shampoo in there, and I, I'll just do a before and after, so you can kind of see how grubby that is. And um, what I basically do is I rub the brush with the exclusive curry comb, and that just gets right into the uh, into the bristles gets it all nice and clean so I'll show you an after. Hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me show you one of the other ones because like so the white bits on these ones like you couldn't see them. <laughs> they were that grim so it shows you how nice and clean they come up and the exclusive curry comb gets a that's got a nice clean as well so that's all good to go on my draining rack. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back at the yard. I actually nipped up to our local sort of feed store, picked up some chalk. I can't believe this, right? This used to be a huge tub and they've changed it and made it smaller. So that's annoying. Um, also got some hoof oil. Haven't used this one before, but it says for a show ring shine. So we're gonna try that out. And I got a new smart grooming tail rake because I've had mine for a while now. And I just, I imagine that the blades will probably get, you know, they'll have wear and tear on them. So got a new set because I need to sort Pepper's tail out. I'll show you the bits that need tidying and then I'm gonna bath her and then we should be good to go. <laughs> Still got my tack to clean though. I haven't even, haven't even started on that. <laughs> I have my clippers and my trimmers down there because I've just got a few bits down here and just some neatening up really around her knobbly bits. <laughs> her beard which I've got a tool to uh, attempt to get that off. Hopefully I won't have to use the trimmers because last time it didn't go so well, did it? If you watch my last vlog, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then yeah, just the top of the tail, sorry Peps, top of the tail needs neaten in and it also needs to be quite a bit shorter. So shall we get to it? <laughs> should be just below the hook. I don't think I want to take it in a short time. beard this is the tool I'm gonna to use I think it's another smart grooming tool actually um, and you literally just do this oh it's actually broken <laughs> I should have bought another one. Oh no I might have to go to the trimmers I actually cut like badly cut myself on this before so the blade on it is pretty sharp um, yeah I think I'm gonna to have to use the trimmers peppercorn but I'll try and use this as much as I can just be careful not gonna work. This isn't a very good um, promotion for this product. This actually works really well, just not today. Look, it's broken there. Oh, well, we can never anticipate for everything to go right, can we? Hmm? No, something's got to go wrong. 
That's better. We can see the shape of your beautiful face now. Okay, now for the tail. I'll show you the mag magic that is the tail rake. You literally, right, look how much hair it pulls out. You literally just do that to thin it out. Now, I should have done this a few weeks in advance, but I have not. So this is not going to be the neatest job. And I may use the clippers to tidy it up a little bit. In fact, I'm going to put my bucket in the wall so I don't have to sweep up. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, baby. Might be a bit sensitive because I think she's in season. <laughs> Very precarious place to stand behind a horse that's in season. Let's uh, do a little tap for the makeup. Are you ready? So that's a bit better. I don't want to keep going because Pips is in season and she's not enjoying this right now. And I don't fancy getting my head kicked in. So it is what it is. It's a lot neater than it was. <laughs> right, Peppercorn, it is bath time now. And I've got two more exclusive shampoos to show you guys. So I've got the Deep Dark and Velvety and the Bright and White. So this is for her white markings. And the good thing about these is they're concentrated. So you literally just add a bit to water rather than using a load. So this bottle's only been used a handful of times and it still feels full. Um, so I'm just gonna empty a couple of capfuls into my bucket and away we go. She's a bit fed up, but I wanted to show you how good she looks and how white her socks are. I've just put the chalk on, so I put it on wet and then I brush it off in the morning. But I'm a bit annoyed to be honest, because it looks more beige to me. Um, I'm hoping that it will look white in the morning, but you look so good. Yes, you do. <laughs> you look amazing. Don't eat my followers. Don't eat your subscribers. Um, I've also, one of the things that I do can I show them please? No. She's like, yes, look at my lovely bed that mummy made for me. So yeah, I usually put a fresh bale of um, shavings down on a show day, just so she's got something nice and clean to lay on to hopefully keep her clean. It is seriously so muggy. Like I was just absolutely drenched in sweat <laughs> from doing that. It's so gross. We're meant to have thunderstorms, so hopefully it's not gonna be hot like this tomorrow because that'll be a bit too much. <laughs> but yeah, nice fresh bed to try and keep her clean. Was gonna put a dry rug on her, but to be honest, with how humid it is, I don't think I should put anything on her. I'm lucky that she's not really a dirty horse and I've obviously washed my Haas brushes so they'll be nice and clean and I can just give her a really good groom in the morning. Sometimes the uh, white socks need a clean again. <laughs> Usually on the lorry there, she poos and gets her socks covered in poo so I'll have to do that again probably. But I'm really chuffed with how she's looking. I've had a few people on the yard say how nice she looks so and lots of people saying good luck which is really lovely. And yeah, for the first time going to a show I just feel really chilled. I think because it's a charity show I know it's going to be a nice relaxed atmosphere and I'm just gonna just gonna go and enjoy it and not think too seriously about it and just have some fun. I've got a bright pink suit to do my in hand with. There's prizes for like the best pink dress because it's for cancer research so like you'll get obviously your first places will go to the championship but also the people who are the best dressed in pink get a fast track to the championship so I was like okay we'll just pull out all the stops <laughs> and try and get into the championship and yeah just make the most of the day she's yawning <laughs> are you tired oh you want to dinner yes please yes please one of the other reasons that I have oh <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know where my voice is going. Um, the other reason why I put a fresh bale of bedding down is um, to... Yes, you're going to yawn. Oh, dear. Is to encourage a good night's sleep. Obviously, the bed down lavender shavings promote a good night's sleep. Oh, goodness. You get a good rest for tomorrow and I'll do the same, yeah? I want you bouncing with energy in the morning. <laughs> Not too much energy. So anyway, from me and Peppercorn, we will see you tomorrow 
which will be the next vlog. <laughs> but we'll see you tomorrow for the show. Yay! <laughs> see you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.